you want to practice your testing, I've got the perfect application for you. I've just released a new version of the Evil Testers Compendium of Testing Apps. It's now up to version 1.2 on github.com slash evil tester slash testing app. And if you've got releases, you'll find it. This is an application that has multiple parts and they're all designed for you to practice your testing. So let me have a quick look at what we've got. We have got the one app to rule them all, the compendium of test apps version 1.2. If you download this, run it from the command line with Java minus jar, compendium of test blah, 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 blah. Then you will see a GUI that has a bunch of apps in it. Let me get it running. So Java minus jar, compendium of test apps 120. You can see there's a bunch of messages comes up when it starts, but what we're interested in is what happens when we now go to localhost colon 4567. And we know it's port 4567 because it says it's there and nothing happens. Or at least nothing happens in Epic. Not sure why that is. Fun fact, always practice your videos before you do them, otherwise this happens. All right, so what we have, let me delete that. What we have is we have got an application running localhost. It's running on our machine. We have downloaded it as a single jar file. You don't need to install any other dependencies. You don't need to set up a database. It's designed to be easy to get running. If you've got Java virtual machine on and this targets Java 1.8, so it should run on Java 1.8, 1.9, 1 1.10, whatever version of Java you've got, this should run. What we have is here are a bunch of pages that are really designed for uh, practicing your web GUI automating. That's what that is really for. That's what I use in my Selenium course. But I've added a couple of new ones because I'm going to expand the Selenium course and we've got some new things I need to start covering. Down the bottom, we also have, if you want to practice your technical web testing, your GUI testing, what's here is a bunch of uh, games. There are games that run in your browser. They've got simple instructions. Some of them are quite hard to play. They've got different things. Some of them are a bit hard to understand. You can mess about with them. Uh, with the JavaScript in there, you can mess around with the DOM when you're testing these things. You can try and automate them. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do in there. A bunch of fun games for doing. Links to other ones that you can um, test. We've also got a bunch of applications. So if you'd rather test very simple applications, got some very simple applications in here designed for testing. And remember, all of this stuff are things that I have used in training courses or videos and they're all designed for some aspect of uh, software testing or some aspect of exploring software in the browser. That's what this is for. We've also got, and this is new in this version, the Pulper. Previously, the Pulper was in here and it was just an app that rendered lots of data. So we've still got all the data. We've got lots of data and tables. This is all um, information to do with pulp books. So we can list the books in tables, list the books in a list. We can see what authors we've got um, in lists. We can see when were things published, what books were published in 1941. There's a bunch of books. But now we can also amend these. So we've got the ability to update and there's more bugs in there when we start updating the data and I can delete stuff. I can actually delete things in there. So now we've got a full CRUD app in there, which is accessible. That's the Pulper, which is a fun app either for testing or for automating. Later versions of um, the Pulper will be slightly easier to automate than it is now, but if you want a challenge, that's a good app to try. We've also got um, Restlisticare, which is a REST API. So if I get Insomnia up here, this is telling me if I go to uh, da, 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 localhost listicator lists, so localhost listicator slash lists, send that, got 200 back. We've got an API here that we can test with as well. So in one download, you've got a bunch of fun games for testing small little apps, a bigger app with the Pulper and a REST API. Now this is good for practicing on your own if you want something to experiment with, because I look around for apps to practice with all the time. And part of the problem when I start creating case studies or instructions is they change. Uh, they may not be available. Uh, they may not be downloadable in a virtual machine anymore. Uh, the website that they're on might not be accessible. So what I've tried to do is put together stuff in a very easy to use wrapper so you don't have to download 
I don't know, you don't have to download Go, you don't have to compile anything, you just download a jar file and run it and you've got a web server sitting there with stuff on there to test. And there's a lot in there and I've tested this stuff for weeks going through it and there's a lot to experiment with, there are bugs to find. But remember, testing isn't about bugs, it's about learning the techniques because we have to get used to the tools. We can experiment with Insomnia against the REST API. It's under our control. We learn how to use it. We use Postman. We learn it. We experiment with different tools. We get those in as muscle memory so that we're, when we're testing a real app, we don't have to think so much about the tools we're using. And that's why we practice. We practice techniques. We practice technologies. That's what these tools are for. So if you head off to github.com slash evotester slash testing app, then you will find some more documentation on this and it's available from the releases. But I've just released that. Now you can, if you want, download the individual parts. If you just wanted the pulper, say you want to do a team exercise with just the pulper. So if I do Java minus jar the pulper 1.1.0 dot jar, then I've just got the pulper in there. Why am I in Epic? <laughs> we know it doesn't run in Epic. There we go, so it's just the pulper. There's nothing else in there. All the apps are available for download individually. If you just want the um, Selenium uh, test execution, then download the Selenium test pages. If you just want the simple JavaScript apps, then download Compendium Dev Apps. If you just want the pulper, download the pulper. If you just want the API, download REST list system. If you want them all, one app to rule them all, you download Compendium of test apps version 1.2.0. If you do test it and blog about it, let me know. If you use it, let me know on Twitter. Uh, you leave some comments on the video if you're starting to use it, if you get stuck in any way. Now, these aren't the only apps that I've got for practicing testing, but this is one sim simple download with a lot of stuff for practicing. I hope you download it and have a look. And we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash evil tester, and I'll be creating videos on these apps on there to go with the 80 or so videos that are on there and the two micro courses that are on there for JavaScript hacking and uh, testability. The testability workshop is on there, releasing lots of stuff on patreon.com. Remember, check out my blog at blog.eviltester.com. Thanks for watching. Download these and have a play.